Yeah, good uh, afternoon. It's Robin Reeves here from the Western District Council. I'm just wondering if Gary's available, please. Um, I'll just... He is. I'll just go and get him. It's just down in the shed, so I'll just go and get him to him. It might be a moment. Oh, that'll be, that'll be great. Okay, thank you. It might be a moment. Yeah, good afternoon, Gary. It's Robin Reeves here from the Western District Council. Uh, listen, we're just taking uh, and completing isolation checks uh, around the district. Um, I just wonder if you could please state your full name and date of birth. And what's it all about? This is just uh, around quarantine checks, uh, Mr Weaver. We understand we've got you down here as an essential service for uh, T Croft, is that correct? Yeah, so look, we're just doing a few checks um, whether you're abiding by those essential service rules. Um, have, have you been working regularly this I week? This week, because um, we've got like this five mechanic in a park hill there, there's five of us in the workshop, but that, that we're just going to spread it around a bit to sort of say that, because of course they're still working, but not they're not working to 100% capacity, so they don't need us all there, so we're just sort of taking turns at... I think one of the guys has gone off altogether, and um, because he was a bit worried about it all, so, um, but the rest of us are just sort of, there's a couple of fellas working in there, I'll probably work next week, and um, we'll share it around a wee bit, you know. Okay, so you haven't been on this week, so that's... No, I haven't been on this week, I was on last week, but only, um, we see, I only work to to Thursday anyway, Friday's not one of my roster days on, so... So last week I worked the Thursday and then I'll go back next Monday. Okay, okay, cool. So look, I'm just, uh, this is a bit awkward to discuss, but look, we've had a report that you, you've been out on the Friday um, and we have checked that if you were working or not and obviously you weren't. Um, we've no. had reports of, have you been collecting firewood at all? No. No? No. See, no, that's... Put all my firewood here. Yeah, well, we, yeah. We've we've had reports of your vehicle, um, and you've been seen out, and we're just a bit, a bit unsure whether you're abiding by the the full quarantine rules. Now, this isn't an accusation. We're just checking. I haven't been out the gate, and um, so who, who told you this? Well, well, you tell me, and we'll and we'll um, I'll put them in the, put them in the picture. Well, no, look, sorry, we can't. You know, we're, no, we're it's concerned citizens. You know, it's it is an epidemic. You know, it, it's. We do have uh, actually yeah, some firewood. Because there's a there's a farmer works from out the back here, so there's there's a there's utes and that go up and down. And actually, as a matter of fact, one of them's got exactly the same colour ute as mine. It's a different type of ute, but it's the same colour. Look, if you he if comes you comes and goes because he's a farmer, but he comes and goes up my driveway. So that's probably what the fucking wanking on about. Look, if you if you do need firewood, we do have an essential service provider available. Um, So we so, um, so that's but so were you just out having last Wednesday I get it at work, I bring it home in logs and I cut it all up here in my paddock. Look So uh, uh, the last time I brought any logs home from firewood was last Wednesday night when we knocked off on the on the night that that we were going into lockdown. I brought three logs home on my trailer. They're still sitting on the trailer. But like I say, there's other vehicles come up and down my driveway and they're all Utes. And um, and it's to do with their farming operations, so it's got nothing to do with me. Look, I'm, look, I don't, I don't want to start any trouble, Mister Weaver. I'm happy just to I'm close this, and, and close like this I file out. Be offered, um, essential service to buy firewood or something. Yeah, 
something. I'm, I'm well prepared, you know. You look. We just you. You've been seen out and about during the lockdown, and we just need to close this out. Were you maybe possibly getting some tools for your essential work on the Friday? No, I wasn't out on Friday. I didn't go anywhere. Last Friday, I didn't go out. I said they didn't go out. Pauline went to the shop yesterday. It's the first time we've been off the property since um, last. Because, like I say, I worked Thursday. Friday, I didn't. And I didn't go anywhere either. So, you know, like, you've got to get back to whoever it was and just um, ask them to um, have a bit of a closer look, because it certainly wasn't me. But like I say, there's, um, there's a few there coming up and down our drive because of the farm that... Oh, they were, pre- they were pretty convinced it was you. They know they know you quite well, so... Um, uh, look, we, we won't be questioning. We want to encourage people to report any unusual activity. Um, so we won't... They're encouraging a bit that that too, aren't they? But um, look, I tell you now, I haven't been out the fucking gate. And, um, and that's a fact. You know, so um, whether they saw me on the Thursday, because I did go home on the th- I had to work on the Thursday, but I didn't go out the gate on Friday. How many hours a day are you doing at work, Mr Weaver? About 12. I leave at, leave, leave at 6 in the morning, get home about half past 6, 7 at night. Okay, and whereabouts are you based when you're working? Are you up in the Stillwater yard? Yeah. So well, that. Like I say, that wasn't Friday. I didn't go to work Friday. You were just firewood. No, I didn't go out. Uh-huh. Do you not listen? I didn't go out the gate on Friday. So whoever told you that I didn't go out the gate on Friday, you're full of shit. Because I didn't go out the gate on Friday. So whoever told you that, you're full of shit. Because I didn't go out the gate on Friday. So whoever told you that, you're full of shit. Because I didn't go out the gate on Friday. So whoever told you that, you're full of shit. Because I didn't go out the gate on Friday. So whoever told you that, you're full of shit. Because I didn't go out the gate on Friday. So whoever told you that, you're full of shit. Because I didn't go out the gate on Friday. On um, Friday or Saturday. Well, well, look, look. Let's yet. just, let's just. I think we'll just park this one for now. I'll put it under review. Um, and I'll, look, I'll, I'll get back to review the complainant. What are you going to do about it? Like, you know, the facts are I haven't been out the gates. Come and take a photo. Well, you, look, we need to follow up all leads and make sure everyone's. Up there. We can't have two sets of rules. Um, yeah. And I, look, I'm telling you, I haven't been out the gate. If I'd been out the gate, I'd say so and say, oh, well, yeah, this is what I did, but I didn't get out the gate. I've been working in my shed. I've got my own workshop here. There's only me and Pauline at home, and we haven't seen anybody else. She went to the shop yesterday. It's the first time anyone's been off the property. So they've got it wrong, and I'm telling you that. And, you know, you keep on saying, oh, you've been out getting forward, you've been out getting forward. But I'm telling you now, you're wrong. OK, look, look we'll be in touch, Mr Weaver. Um, we'll, we'll leave it at that for now. Um, what are you going to be in touch about, though? Tell, go back to the people that, that are doing this and tell them to get a photo, because I haven't been out the gate. So they think they're talking about the wrong you to say, and I've, not only that, is I haven't been getting firewood, because I don't need firewood. I've got two years worth of firewood sitting in the shed. Why would I go and get firewood look, when I'm not allowed out the gate? We don't want to encourage people to be out taking photos of other people and whatnot, well, but we, we do have a council have security, dog, system, dog, uh, security dog, provider you know, uh, available. Yeah, but tell them they need to take a photo so they get the right you. Yeah, OK, look, we're just going to leave it at that for you now. Know, you, you've got it wrong. What you've got to do now is realise that you've got it wrong and go back and put it right. Because there's no good reviewing me or you say you'll get back in touch with me. I don't know what you want to get back in touch with me for. You've rung me to ask me and I've told you the, what the story is. Yeah, OK, well, um, yeah, we'll just leave it at that for now. Um... Well, we're we'll just we we'll just like you to just. To me that you're going to do something more about it. There's not much you can do about it, and um, and there's not much to do about it because they haven't done anything wrong. We would just like to confirm that you will be staying at home when you're not travelling for essential work. Yeah, well, I am. I am doing it right. I don't want to get sick. No. That's why I'm, that's why I'm not going to work full time. So, and you know, and that's why we're sort of trying to do it up there where we spread it out a bit. But there's not too many people working. At any one time. Yeah, no, that makes perfect sense. Um, have you got a pen? A have you got a pen and paper handy, Mister Weaver? What was that? Have you got a pen and paper handy? No, I haven't. No. Oh, I was just going. I was going to give you the number for our essential firewood provider. You don't need. I just told you I've got two years worth firewood in my shed. Do you want me to take a photo? I'll give it to you. You don't need to do all this. I know that you're doing all this to try and justify what you're doing or something, but it, it, I don't need a firewood provider. I've Okay, look. 
Look, I don't want to upset you anymore, Mr. Weaver. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, have a great don't, afternoon. Don't bring back with it. This is just bullshit, and I don't even know why you... You know, I haven't been out the gate. You can believe whatever you, you like, but I haven't been out getting firewood, and um, the best thing you should do is tell me who was the dog did it, and I'll just go and let them know, what, ask them why they did that. Well, no, we won't be sharing that information, but no, look, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for upsetting you. Um, we're just following well, all leads. Look, hey, look, you know, you're accusing me of doing something I haven't done. Well, so look, you can't go around doing that. I'd say the next person, and you want to be a wee bit more careful, because get some fucking evidence first. Well, we haven't said that we haven't got evidence, you know, you're Mr. Weaver. You're the council, you're, you know, you're a public servant, but no one really takes much notice of you. The best of times, let alone some of the policemen. Well, that's what we're trying to ensure that people do take notice, um, especially during this time. I think most people are. Anybody else? I haven't even seen my family. Uh, have you got family at home during this time, Mr. Weaver? We understand you've got four, is it four children. Four, uh, uh, anyone at home? Anyone else at home during this time? No, no there's me and my wife are here. And like I say, we haven't even seen the kids because, well, some of them live overseas, but the ones that live here, we haven't even, you know. We've got to do our own thing for a wee while, don't we, sir? No, that's right, yeah. Okay. Um, you're, getting it, you're getting it a bit wrong and you're getting it a bit... Well, we're just following all... Like, I understand you're quite upset, so we're just wondering if it was someone else in the household maybe using your vehicle. Um, oh, one of your... One of your... Using me, you're using me. You've only been out the gate to, um, to go to work on the first day of last week. Well, we've had... Looking, go anywhere Friday. Historically, looking, I know that uh, your son... Uh, has had some run-ins with the law, so is he is he abiding by all uh, isolation? He lives in Australia, he's done for about the last eight or nine years. You see, you wouldn't have a fucking clue what you're talking about. You just, you know, look, I tell you what, you want to be very fucking careful because you're way out of your depth and way out of your station. You're playing like you're a policeman or something. Ask me what my son's doing. You know, I should be recording this because it's just a fucking joke. Yeah, look, I, I, look, I apologise, we're just firing up a few things, but hey, let's just leave it at there. Um, I appreciate your time. I would suggest that you stop doing this, because you're just going to find yourself in a whole heap of trouble, you know. Well, you I'm know, just doing my job, sir, I'm just doing my job, you know, that's you what... Know, my son, you're telling me that you've got in front of you what family I've got. What the fuck's that got to do with you? Well, you, I, I just, it's a small you town. Know, you had some for, I don't know, eight years, six years. And he hasn't planned to come home for the isolation, obviously. No, he works there, he's, in, he's got his own business, he's trying to keep it running. Right. You, you haven't got a clue, you're just jumping up and down because someone told you that someone went and got some firewood and I'm telling you it wasn't me. I know who it was because I know the Instagram here, yeah, I know who went and got firewood. Look. Um, it wasn't me. All right, let's just leave it at that. Uh, look, I well, thanks for your time. Being a bit careful, you know, I will be taking this further, this is just out of control that you're asking. trying to help out the police have got plenty to do as well well you, don't, well you don't do a very good job any other time so what would make you think that the council could do a good job now you know everything else the council touches is a cock up so why would they be able to why would they be able to manage this look i think we're going around in circles now so look well, we I'll, are but you know, yeah. you you're saying oh we'll ring back and we'll do this and that no, don't ring me back okay we won't ring you back mr weaver right, go and annoy someone else okay thank you very much thank for your time Wow, I don't think that could have gone any better. Thanks, Gary. Always a pleasure. Never a chore.